All right, hello everyone. My name is Matt Matthew, but I really don't mind. Welcome back to my German Arm Group South campaign in Arm Two Stubbervik 1946. I believe this is episode nine, and uh, yeah, I've applied since the last mission, uh, last episode. Very, very embarrassing for me, I'm afraid. I believe on every single mission, I had, I ended up having to uh, ditch or bail out, so I'm wasting a lot of planes here. But nevertheless, after the last successful mission defending Yevpatoria from an air from an air raid, we have been promoted to Overleutnant. Hmm, we're getting on quite well now. I believe Overleutnant means like first lieutenant or something. Lieutenant. Uh, chap got the Iron Cross, first class, and this guy has been promoted to a lieutenant. Now May the sixth. Uh, oh yeah, one thing I'll be forgetting to mention uh, before, when, when this leg of the campaign started was that uh, by now, uh, when obviously with them failing to take Moscow, uh, Germany considers Operation Barbarossa uh, a uh, almost complete failure. You know, because Leningrad is holding out; they haven't advanced up to uh, Arkhangelsk, that place in the uh, further north in Russia. Uh, Finland isn't gaining any more territory in the north. In the centre, of course, they were held back at Moscow and now on the defensive and being pushed back. They're trying to go around Moscow. And uh, I'm not sure at what point we start going towards Stalingrad. But uh, we're doing okay down here in the south. The majority of the Soviet resistance is in the other parts of the Western Front. Uh, Eastern Front, I mean. So, yeah. By this point, I believe... Germany still has a kind of a grip uh, on the Allies. Generally, it's later 1942 when they start to realise actually we're losing this war. But uh, we're okay for now. Anyway, our staffel has been allocated to Belogorsk zone. Our supplies there depend on transport columns. We have to mis minimise our losses in vehicles. So we're going to uh, protect some transport columns in Belogorsk. Perhaps they're going to be on their way to that, to our foot, to the front line here to help push them off Kerch Peninsula. So yeah, fair number of us today. Perhaps we're anticipating a fair bit of uh, Soviet resistance. But anyway, let us uh, get on in. All right, here we are. We're at our, uh, we're at uh, we're over Belogorsk. Got some I-16s below me, but we've got some bombers here with an escort. Not really sure what to do here. Oh. Knocked out an I-16. My best bet, I suppose, is to just stay high, uh, wait for the bombers to go past. Hopefully their escorts will be distracted by us fighters. There's our detachment of six aircraft, I believe I'm at the back. And then there's, an, there's a, a, diff, a separate detachment of 109s. So, I'm going to have at... I'm going to have at me some bombers. Are these the ones that look... Oh dear. Are these the ones that look a bit like... Um... Uh, what do you call them? TV Avengers. Oh no. No they're not. Never mind. Right. Hopefully my tail is clear. Yes. Right. Come here little bastard. He's going faster than me right now. It's alright. Gives me plenty of time to trim on out. He's probably going to radio his position to a fighter or something. Oh, got a hit. Got a hit. Oh dear, concentrating now. Did some cannon rounds his way. He dropped his bomb. He dropped his payload. All right. So I, oh, I took a hit on his gunner. Is he going to do much? Where did he go? Uh, Alright, anybody on my tail? I don't think so. Um, hmm. Right, there the rest of them. I believe that was the one I was engaging there. He's disengaging and bugging out. That's why he dropped his bombs. That's basically what you try to do with a bomber. You harass it enough. Maybe you can shoot off its bomb bay doors and then the bombs fall out. Or they drop its bombs and then piss off home as fast as they can. Right then, so let's get back on the tail of these bombers. We've got the flak as well helping me out. Right. 
got this one. Oh, God, a bit quick, actually. Yeah, quickly go over him. Oh, dear. Oh, no, they're dropping their bombs. There we go, that's some significant damage. Let's go after the flight leader. Hopefully those... Yeah, it looks like he's bailing out. Right, this one's coming around for a pass or something, or just getting back on his flight path, so I will take advantage of that. Mm. Relatively undisturbed by the fighter escort. In fact, I think the fighter escort is too busy occupied with my friends, so it's given me plenty of time to go after the bombers. That's good teamwork, that is. Of course, I should be following my flight leader. So, but he hasn't given me. He's probably let me fire at will. There we go. Fight. Let's get, let's get some. Watch out. Oh dear. Let's get some more cannons and bomb. Oh, there we go. Don't want to stay on his tail when they're smoking because they might explode in your face. Right. Where's that? There's another bomber, I believe. I may, have, I may have harassed one to drop its payload early, but it's still possible he's still around. There. There's the leader. It's going down. Oh. It's disintegrating in his descent. Not, fr not scared, of, not concerned with any um, escorts. There they go. Nice kill. I believe uh, White 5 there is going after this bomber with me. I will Shall I help him out? Oh no! Our squadron leader, or the, the backup squadron leader, has gone down. Hopefully, he'll bail out and be okay. Well, normally they say that they're bailing out. In fact, actually, they're all going after him. So, I will divert my attention to these ones over here. Is there any other enemy planes that we've heard about? No, nope, just these enemy planes. Oh, oh, there we go. There's our second kill over Belagorsk. Right then. Now let's let's pip pip on over to these guys. I believe these must be the last of the escorts. All right. Wee, boom, 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 boom. There's a guy falling down. Wow, that blip is going crazy. Right, got some I-16s running away from us here. I'm going to team up with whoever this is. Uh oh, one's turning back to attack us. Teaming up with White Two. Right, I'm putting myself in quite a bit of danger here. It's three of them versus two of us, and one of them is coming right at us. But hopefully he's too busy with them. Oh, he's attacking him. In fact, actually, I'll go after him. He seems to be the most obvious threat. But wherever pissing alley went. Nice circle back around. Alright. He seems to be actively engaging us, so I'll go after him. Distract him to let my guys take out that one that's uh, routing. Hey. Oh, it's coming on at me, more or less. Right, come here, little bastard. Come here. There we go. Got him on my tail. Got, got on his tail. Right there, come here. I'm gonna dive down. I think he's probably gonna raise up now to let me make me overshoot. There we go. I think I might have got a hot shot on him. Where'd he go? There he is. He's diving. Right. Oh dear. Lost a bit of speed. Better pick it up. I'm going to die, although I'm diving on him. He ain't going to recover from that. <laughs> there. Forced him to crash. That counts as a kill. Alright. I'm going to do quite well in this mission. I don't want to jinx it now. So it looks like there's a final I-16 left. Alright. Hmm. So yeah. Uh, oh dear. Is on 
I'm like flying through clouds, especially when I haven't got a, uh, an artificial horizon in this aircraft. A bit scary. But I've got no choice. I can roughly see the horizon through the clouds. Hmm, where is this bus? Uh, I've pretty much got no ammunition there. Oh. And it's going down. So. And he's going down. Yeah, he fell down. Okay, that's the mission complete. Just about. And I've used up nearly all of my ammunition. So, yeah, no enemy planes to deal with. So, yeah, this is going to be a nice routine formation flight back to the base. And you, see what, and you will um, see me for the debriefing. Alright then, here we are in the debrief. Nice normal landing, simple flight on the way back. So yeah, uh, we lost three planes in this mission to end the enemy's 12. So again, it's not nice to lose any BF-109s, but uh, not not as bad as we've been previously when they've been outnumbering us. So we got three kills in that mission. Nicely done. We killed pretty much all of those bombers. Well, we could no, we killed two of the bombers, I believe we wounded one and that was finished off by somebody else and then we forced uh, an I-16 to crash into the ground so that was good of us we got some couple of kills here, this guy got some kills but unfortunately we lost an overloitment and a loitenant right hmm. who's the third plane we lost then, so we lost those two who else did we lose? I don't know so player landed Major what's his name? Runner crashed. Oh, he crashed. Oh, he's still alive. So he must have bailed out then. Yeah. Okay. You're a talented pilot. You have earned the respect of your fellow officers. Your squadron has been resupplied. Hey, how about that? We finally got some reinforcements because we were running low on planes. So look, luckily, this time it wasn't me causing all the, the shortage in planes. Alright then, so let's apply this and have a look at the next mission. Ah, it's a transfer. Probably won't include this that much. Oh, ah! We've finally got the German Cross in gold. There we go. Uh, this guy has got the Iron Cross second class, this rookie pilot. Well done. Promotion, and then we've got some new blood. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be starting our offensive in taking back the Kerch Peninsula now, and obviously we'll want to be sent over here to save fuel and time so that we can, possibly can go deep over to the airfield in Tarman here. Yeah. Alright then, so it's the 7th of May. Uh, it's good, nice weather. We are leaving Ogorodnoy West, I suppose. Near that airfield. Our new airfield is located near Kurovsko. Kurovsko. There, right on the front line. So we're quite close to the front lines here. Uh, interesting. So we've got pretty much uh, a lot of us. Imagine one day we'll, we'll, we're the first people to get transferred over, and then the next day the other people in the squadron will be transferred over. There's our kills. Doing very nice. Very nicely indeed. So here we go. There's our two bombers and that I-16 that we, uh, that we uh, nabbed. So yeah, going to be a relatively simple mission. I anticipate, like in the previous transfer missions, we may run into some enemy planes, so of course I will show that and whether we survive, but other than that, I probably might show the landing just to, just to, just to like, indicate that um, it, uh, you've got some idea of what ha uh, what's been going on. So anyway, let's just get on with this transfer. Alright, so as I sort of suspected, we're under attack from some fighters going after our uh, JU-52s we're escorting got a couple of yaks here hmm troubling indeed oh oh is that somebody damaged no it's just a uh, flak are we over some friendly flak yeah we are right they're staying together so as soon as oh turning very tightly did you realise how fast I was Going. Oh, dear. oh god. I anticipate I'll be shot down again. Last time I faced off against Yaks, didn't end well. Right, let's go after this one. No one on my tail. Good, good. Someone could be on my tail. But I'm in a nice dive now. Right, come here, little bastard. Right, this is going to break off. Don't, please don't dive. Right, come here. 
from you. No. No. Come on. Stay there. Unless she's like he's helping me like helping me be in the sights of his teammates. hits on him. Getting quite close to him now. Trying to force him to crash into the ground. Oh dear. Massive. Massive amount of speed here. Hey! So we forced him into the ground or we damaged his control services enough. Alright. There we go. I think is that my first yak kill? I don't know. How are my wings doing? Okay, I did feel a bit of stress, metal stress going on. He heard that noise. Still going uh, full whack. Oh no, we've left the J-52s by themselves. God, bloody idiots. They always do that. Oh God. And they have no gunners, I don't think. Come on, we better, we better pip pip. We better pip pip back to our J-52s. They probably contain important personnel. And all that, all that jazz. Oh no, lost one. Come on, dive down. Come here. So I took out Red Three, I believe. Oh no, we're gonna get another one, aren't they? They're really vulnerable. Uh oh, he's always taking evasive maneuvers. All right, here we are. We're back. We're back. Let's try and let's get these guys away from our J-52s. I think there's two left still. So, yeah. So of course they contain things like probably like ammunition and uh, maintenance crews and stuff. But the, I suppose the fighters, the fighter pilots, and the pl and the fighter planes are a bit more important than the maintenance crews because there'll be maintenance crews there anyway. But it's still a shame to lose them. Right then getting a nice guy on his tail. I have, I have a feeling these are rookie pilots because they're not doing as big evasive maneuvers as the ace pilots do. Oh, I'm diving on him nicely. It's going quite, still pretty quick. Right. He's going to start climbing now because that's going to give me some time to go on his tail. Oh god, that one might be coming after me. Although he's got all them guys on him so he might be trying to defend himself here. Yeah. Right, come here. Yeah, stay there. Stay there, come on. Come on. Let's try and get some range finding. Oh, nearly. Oh, God. Got some pop shots on him. Whoa! Oh, oh God. Well, my cannon certainly can rip apart a yak. Right, anybody else left? No, nobody else is left. Mission accomplished. All right then. Looks like it's just looks like it's just a uh, back in formation, helping out uh, whatever the whatever the uh, thing he's left behind. And yeah, so I thought it's done necessary for me now to show the landing. So you will see me in the debriefing. All right, here we go. Landed nice and safe and sound. Didn't actually bounce, I don't think. Got it nice and uh, nice, good angle and good speed. All right. So yeah, we didn't lose. Oh, oh, we lost two planes. Were they two? Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, we did lose the two of our Ju-52s. Bit annoying. But we didn't lose any fighters. I got two kills. Uh, ran one into the ground, and then you saw that one flip and explode in front of my face. Oh, that was scary. Didn't want to run into its debris. Uh, our major, or whatever you call them, got a kill, and then some new guy got a kill. Good work. You are courageous and alert in the air. We lost two planes, the enemy lost four planes. There's two, got 19 planes overall in our career. So, uh, yeah, I think I've got time for one more mission. So uh, let's uh, go on and imply this and see what's going to happen. Because now we're based here. Oh, we've uh, pushed the front line forwards now. Right, oh, why don't we go there just to go this way? Whatever. But as you see here, the front line has been pushed back now. We're now starting our uh, counter-offensive to uh, kick the uh, the Russians off the Kerch Peninsula once again after they uh, after they landed back on it whilst we were injured. All right. So it's in the afternoon, May the 8th. Our destination today is Belogorsk. 
the main goal for today is control of the airspace. So yes, this is an air superiority mission. So I imagine we're going to be seeing a lot of fighters and we'll be sending a lot of our own fighters. I anticipate quite heavy losses, unfortunately. Going in quite high altitude insertion. Yeah. Uh, Yak-1s. So they're Yak-1s. But still, Yak-1's still good aircraft. Not as good as the Yak-3, which comes towards the end of the war. Or the uh, the Yak-7. Uh, no, no. Yeah, it goes Yak-1, Yak-7. Yak-9 and then Yak-3 and then after that they're jet fighters okay so let's uh, quickly uh, get on into this mission alright and uh, so we're up in the air we've only just taken off and already we've got an air raid coming in so we're gonna have our hands full over here I believe that other detachment of fighters there in the corner of the map is uh, some of our Romanian allies going to the uh, engagement area will we be engaging these? They seem, they seem to be high up. I thought they didn't have... They couldn't fly. Or they didn't perform very well that high up. That's something in about a different plane. But anyway... No, doesn't look like we're going after them. Oh. Uh, some of them are. Actually, are they the Romanians? Yeah, I believe the Romanians are going to defend the base for us. There's another group of fighters over there from a different part of the map. But, yeah, okay, never mind. False alarm, more or less. We'll, we'll carry on with our actual mission. Okay, no, never mind. Looks like our commander changed his mind. He said try to come over for a pass, so now we're going to dive down on him, although I'm going a bit too fast. Here we go. Oh, he's spun out. He's bailed out. Right. Oh shit. It's a nice big turn. Uh oh. It's gonna be on my tail now. Right there. Uh oh. Somebody help me. Oh god. Come on, I'm supposed to be faster than he at. Right, okay, he's distracted. Oh. Trying to do some evasive maneuvers. He's right on my tail. Whee. Come on, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Good turn that was, to be honest. Why on his tail now? Here I am. All right then. Ah, so you think you can take me on, do you? Well, forget that I am a, a nasty old. Well, I'm not nasty. I'm a. I'm a Misha Smith. There's no way your Yakolev can be superior to good old German engineering. Oh, that's me cracking my knuckles. Right. I don't know. Not wasting too much time here. I imagine we'll be going. To, there's no enemy planes on there. Well, there, oh, there is, but they're simply landing. But anyway, we must concentrate on the here and now. Oh god, they're flying very close together. But we're all just going in for a stall. Oh. Right then, I'm going to follow him down in his dive. Try another, let's try another attempt at it. Oh dear, I'm wasting a lot of time. Yeah, we need to get on with the mission at hand, but I suppose taking out these means we haven't got to take out any later on. Uh oh, just trying to turn it. He's a good pilot, this one. Oh, there we go. Lovely. Oh, he 
Yeah. There we go. I haven't got time for your acrobatic crap. I've got I've got Germany to defend. Well, I've got the world to conquer for the Führer. All right then. So yep, we might chase after that one. We've got some other ones that are on the way. So yeah, we'll skip ahead until something interesting happens. All right then. So we were we as anticipated. We met up with this extra set of fighters. We were quite outnumbered here. So they're I-16s. And I'm not sure about the ones behind. What are those ones? Some I-16s again. Not liking our chances here. Right, let's have a look. What's the best one to get? Yeah. There's one. Ooh, big high G turn. Gonna get gonna loose oh gotta wait for him to snap out of it. Come on, wake up. There we go. There we go. Oh wow, it's completely blacked out. Kinda of did it again. We are going pretty quick. Come on, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Oh thank god. Anyone in my tail? No. But there's two of them over here and I've got my friend. I'm gonna go after this one is closer. Oh god. He's slowing down. Diving and all. Oh god. Oh dear. Not good. I'm on my own. I'm on my own. I'm on my own. Quick, get back over to the, my fuel tank leaking. I've got to get out of it. Well, I could carry on. I've got plenty of fuel. But I'm going to try and bait them. Whilst I'm still trying to gain speed, we will try and bait them towards the flat. Towards Belagorsk. Oh, the right on my tail. Right, is there? Is there one on my tail? There's got to be. I'll just I can see the icons. Gaining my speed back now. There's my fuel tank there, where it says liter by the that red button and that red sort of switch handle thing. Right. Are they disengaged from me? I believe they have disengaged. Right. How well are we doing? Oh no, I've got two, they've, they've got a whole squadron coming after me. I've got a whole squadron coming after me. Oh bloody hell. My engine's gonna conk out. Right. Careful. They, they're not fat. I'm faster than them because you know I'm the BF1 and I have said. Right. I'm going to gain some altitude. I'm going to lead them all, all of them. <laughs> there is it, one, two, three, four. They're being held up right now. We're doing okay. Their plane is trimmed out nicely. Looks like he's giving up. There we go. Gotta lead them over that flak. Ah, perhaps then they'll turn away. They don't like the idea of a flak. And obviously, I've got to turn to try and stop them. Although, how much. Oh, God. My fuel is going down very badly. Is there any way to land nearby? Oh god, this is going to be bad. I need to land this thing ASAP. Oh, my, I can't. I won't be able to make it home. Why isn't there an airfield at Belagorsk? Oh god, how bad is that fuel leak, by the way? Oh, hopefully it won't set on fire. Get ready. Gotta run out. I better get ready. I'm gonna slow down. I'm gonna have to ditch it here. Not follow it. They might have been shot down over there. I need to slow myself set myself down. Looks fairly flat this land. I think it does. Go we'll find a nice plateau. Whoa. 
engines out of fuel. Okay, we've got to put this thing down, and I've got to put it down safely. I can still roughly see. Right, let's, let's stall, well not stall it out, but let's slow it down for the flaps. Don't think I'm, I can't, I could try and use my gear. You know what, I will. Why not? Might as well. Alright. There we go, not too many trees. Right. Here we go. Oh god. This is a bad idea to land it without a runway. Go touch the ground now. Bounce. Bounced again. Oh, we're gonna flip over. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well, that's that. So see, that's what tends to happen when you try using your gear. So fortunately, most I believe most of the aircraft is okay. Obviously, we've got to fix the fuel tank. I'm gonna get out of it, of course, because there's some I-16 trying to chase me. Oh, upside down camera. There's a guy trying to chase me. Hopefully he won't strafe me on the ground. So, yeah. That's what tends to happen if you try and do an emergency landing with your gear. And it's not on a runway. Oh god, what's he going to do? Is he's... Please don't shoot my person. What a cheap... Well, can't use it anymore. What a cheap kill. Look at oh, I've been rescued. Hopefully in the plane. Where is it? It's probably going to blow up. Boom. Well, you're out of the way. Out of its way. Unfortunately, that means he's left behind his chap. And we've actually managed to get the initiative. One, two, three, four. So, there were eight of us, I think. There were eight of us, I believe. Uh oh Oh, no. We're losing people. Yeah, as I say, it's going to be a very costly mission, this one. Right, let's so get a look at them. There's a, there's a yak. Oh, God. Well, we bailed out. Oof. Let's have a look. Oh, my squadron leader has ditched successfully. I did as well, but unfortunately I got strafed on the ground. Number three still up. Number eight still up. He's, yeah. That's all who's left. We have two people left in the sky. What about the enemy? Just a single yak, is it? Not for long, I hope. No, it's not a yak, it's an I-16. Right, come on. Oh, God, what the hell? Oh, he's in an uncontrollable dive. Unless he's doing that. No, no, he was doing that on purpose. Was he? He's not climbing. He's gonna hit. He's, no, he's gonna hit. Down he goes. Boom. All right then, that's mission accomplished. I think. Will they say it? Well, the leader's not. The leader is uh, our squadron leader is down, so he won't say it. All right. Well, I think that seems to be the mission. All right then, let's carry on. All right, here we are. Here's the briefing. So, ah, we got one kill. We did. Unfortunately, we I had to ditch the aircraft. All right, well, crash. I had to crash land it on the ground, and then he got strafed and destroyed. Unfortunately. Uh, we got, well, he got one kill, he got three kills, well done, he got two, but oh, he got he was killed. Oh, and Major Runa was killed as well, but he got three kills, that's good. We've captured famous Russian ace D. Glinka, who was shot down. Who's he? Who's... Oh, I don't know, he's one of those ones. You need more practice, but for today it's over, be ready for tomorrow's work. What do you mean? I did well. Um, I, I successfully landed, didn't I? Well, I successfully tried to save the aircraft before it was strafed. So, yeah, the enemy may have lost 12 planes, but we lost 10. Ugh. They're losing I-16s and stuff. We're losing 109s, and we need them. Very expensive. But yeah, so we killed once. We've got killed 20 planes overall in our career. Very well done, indeed. Nice, not too bad a mission. All right, then, so I'm going to call it here. Dragging on long enough. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like, comment, favourite, subscribe, any of all that. Uh, I do appreciate it. And I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.